Greetings from Kansas City. This is Renee at AV Renee KC, and you are listening to and watching The AV Life. This is Murphy Daly here. Thank you for joining us. I am here with the AV Life. I'm an AV veteran and author celebrating one year of writing columns for the Rave Agency. And you're joining us for the AV Life right here. Will, you're up next. It's your turn, Will. Oh, yeah. my bad. I'm not used to being on this. My name is Will DeWitt, um, apparently honorary <laughs> AV Life crew member. Crew member, you can reach me at uh, Will R. DeWitt on Twitter, and you're listening and watching the AV Life. Hey, hey, my name is Joe Way, and you are watching and listening to the AV Life. And I'm your host, Tim Van Wert, and I probably should have prepped Will a little bit better before we started this. <laughs> And you are watching Hi. and listening to The AV Life. So yeah, Will DeWitt is here with us and he's been elevated back to honorary crew member uh, again this week. Um, and yes, we, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Way is in the house. How are you doing, Joe Way? You know what? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back. Oh, I excuse me, Dr. Doctor Joe Way. I'm sorry. I, no, like I, I said, I only let have people I don't like call me doctor. Oh, okay. I've heard right. of him. From such episodes is, That's oops, a, was that a buoy? Uh, <laughs> I know. You know, I, I think it took me that long. You know, I, I'm actually sitting in an office chair with the lights changing. I mean, I have to do something unique, but I figured. Don't they call Cody, those office chairs? Because I thought they called them gaming chairs. Well, usually we call them I, Captain Joe Ways. So. Okay. But <laughs> if according to Secret Lab, this is the office chair version, not the gaming chair version. I think it's the same chair. Uh -huh. Just so you know, they just put it under a different. They just take tab. corporate cards, mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. and they get charged, mm -hmm. and they get charged an extra hundred dollars because ah. it's mm -hmm. for corporate as opposed oh. to for a gamer. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. we don't get side eyes from the finance people. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now, yep. but I'm here. I'm not doing any boating while doing this. I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna behave and be a normal crew member. And let's and see what that looks like. I yeah, let's see what I, that. Let's see that. Let's put the bets right now. <laughs> let's bet. Out that I'm not going to do a takeover. Over. This is it. I'm just okay. I'm right, here well, to answer questions. Gonna, and give commentary. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to Will. And how are you? How are you, Will DeWitt? Doing good. We're well into the semester, so you know now we're starting to look forward to what we're going to do in the spring, and working on summer plans. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, yeah, same here. We've got the, I got my master Excel. Oh, actually, no, it's not, not even Excel. We're, we're doing it on, uh, on Google. So uh, I got my, my giant sheet of uh, equipment and budgeting and things like that. And your, your like, holy sheet. My holy sheet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's a sheet to believe in. You know? so, okay. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's it's I'm I'm excited because, you know, we did some cool stuff, you know, uh, during the the pandemic. But to get back to normal of like normal refreshes is exciting. And I know that Joey doesn't count because he did refreshes three hundred rooms last year. But you know, yeah, right now I'm mostly just trying to spread the good word of product delays and shipment times because I found out recently that someone high enough up in the administration that you would think would know, uh, didn't realize that there were problems getting stuff shipped over from China right now. Like they don't so, turn on TV? Oh, they're, <laughs> no, oh, they, they're not but, being shipped. They're here. They're sitting right outside the port of LA. You. So they're, they, yeah. they're not in China. They're yeah. right here. You can see oh, them. They're, they're outside of LA. They're outside of New York. It's they're a new outside, version the of the last mile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And that's where it actually Spence uh, shared a, uh, a photo on it was on Facebook or something like that. And then he showed like the actual ships where it was. It's like basically a blizzard along every coast outlining and how long they've been there. So it's just we got to clear the ports. We got to wonderful how things used to work. That was awesome how they used to work. <laughs> it was great. Well, 
Well, now that more and more states are starting to cut off the unemployment benefits, I think we're going to see people start to get back to work. Um, and oh, it may not oh well. Is, what? You don't think I so, think, Murphy? I, I think that um, government restrictions have caused a lot of the problem of how to handle the the, the special handling of the COVIDness is what has caused a lot of the backup. Not just that people weren't able, weren't there to work, but now that's like, you can't, you can't just go <laughs> release release the Kraken right now because not all the Kraken fit through. Mm-hmm. It's just it, it's not I can't do it. So like, yeah, we're here for a there while. A so everybody start knitting socks to give each other for Christmas. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a giant bottleneck caused by a lot of different sources, mm-hmm. um, and we just ordered a bunch of touch panels that normally we would be able to get in like a week or two, but it's going to be nine to 14 weeks. They mm-hmm. were telling us. Yep. Um, yeah. And there's, these, and there's a bunch of kids on the boat going, my iPad doesn't work. <laughs> Your touchpad. Mm. And that's, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, and that's, I'm getting the same thing. It's, you know, it, 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 it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer and things like that. And so, I mean, it's the same thing we've been dealing with for, months now so it's just we gotta ride it out just a little longer and you know see what happens it's so. gonna be a, it's gonna be a minute yeah it will be uh before we dive into any other topics i'm gonna we're gonna go right over to murphy with the pm minute uh yeah. we'll talk about that and then uh we will uh we, we do have a good uh higher ed uh showing here today with myself will and joe so um <laughs> You know, we'll uh, we we do have an article to talk about, not firing range article, uh, but uh, just an article to talk about that got some uh, Twitter responses uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, so, uh, but take it away, Murphy, and then we'll we'll keep on going. Okay. So you you guys know that saying, um, if sharks, well, when I was little. I raised rabbits when I was a teenager. My brother also raised rabbits. It was always his science project. And we had rabbits. And the thing about rabbits is they're always wiggling their their nose. It's very cute. They up and down, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's so cute. And the thing is, um, if they're not wiggling their nose, they're not breathing. Hmm. That is how it works for them. So it's actually um, really a problem for rabbits if they get it's called the snuffles. If they get a cold, that's a big deal. They, they have to breathe through their nose. So this is similar to um, the, what they say about sharks. Sharks have to swim, right? They have to keep swimming. Projects have to keep moving. They have to keep moving no matter what. So like you got to find some place for that to go some motion it could go on ice but you can't it has to have some motion what else is happening keeping on it some there's always some parts are moving so i just wanted to bring that up like this is the thing you can't even if it's still there's motion happening so it's like that's one of the things they talk about with one of the terms for projects called like a waterfall project. It's like water. There are forces happening. It wants to move. So you got to go like, okay, what can we do to keep everything moving? We got to keep people engaged. We got to keep things happening. Always look for this, even the smallest bit, even if it's just sending little information packets to each other, you got you. Okay. Okay. We're still here. Still here. Still here. Something have to keep moving. So this is the thing about projects. And this is the thing about any part of life that is important that you don't want to die like a rabbit with a cold. All right. It has to keep moving. You have to keep energy at it. It has to keep going. So that's what I was thinking about. You got to find a place for however that thing can keep moving. And that, you know, it's funny, my brain, now I, I know I'm ready for my Disney trip because my brain just went <laughs> straight to two different Disney movies. Um, oh yeah. And, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, well, yeah. we had, just keep we had, swimming. just keeps, yeah. So you have, you have Dory with her, with her, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You know, it's like, yeah. And you, you're, you're that, that constant 
movement of just, you know, you don't want to get stagnant. I agree. Like that's when you get stagnant, that's when the joints freeze up and the, the, the engine comes to a halt, you know, you, the, yeah. you don't want to, you want to got to keep the motor running. Um, and then there's keep moving forward from meet the Robinsons, uh, probably one of the more underrated uh, Disney animated movies. Um, so it's uh, talking about that, you know, even if you hit failures or you hit stalls or things like that, like, but you got to keep moving forward. Like, and it's similar to what you're saying. Like you may hit, you may hit a patch of ice or something like that, or you might get frozen, but you gotta, you gotta keep moving. You gotta, whatever it may be, you gotta keep moving. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. Well, big head, little arms is <laughs> the little the yeah. T-Rex. So <laughs> well, even if it's just someone a didn't, someone didn't sink just through yeah. all the way. <laughs> Well, even if you just have to have a conversation just to get regroup and even if it's mm -hmm. a little stagnant you have to kind of keep yep. your fight keep something going exactly mm -hmm. i'm sure renee that that comes up in your um <laughs> work a lot just keep like we're still on it we're still doing this still happening we're still i'm ready you ready i'm ready you're ready come on yeah, yeah. and so, and actually oh we lost your way entirely on on camera but that's okay i'm sure he's still with us um it actually, that reminds me about, uh, you know, I, I used to do a lot of uh, Catholic retreats um, and we always remind people about the word retreat and that mm -hmm. it doesn't, there's a lot of people think of it as like a negative connotation, like you're running away, like of things like that. But retreat, retreat, even in a military standpoint means just to back off to regroup. So even if you have to retreat, I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing because you are still moving. So it's, and, you know, to get away, to bring yourself back together. And that's uh, like, when it comes to Christian retreats and stuff like that, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to regroup yourself and your mind and your soul before you go back. So, oh, <laughs> so. I'm skimming through that, my email right now and about 80% of the email that wasn't just spam advertising stuff that I got today was people touching base, me touching base with people. Just saying, hey, where are we on this? What's going on with that? Just a reminder, here's an update. Yep, keeping, yep. keeping everything alive. Keep those, yeah, lines Keep of there. communication open. Yeah. <laughs> So, and that's and that's where the that's where now that we're we're at that point of uh, infocom the uh, the emails from the the sales reps are coming out already like all of all of us that are still registered that are still going we got our our first run of hey now, now you're coming to infocom let's uh, let's plan to meet up you know so it's that's that movement has happened joe was that you that 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 happened that you you called us out on the uh the, one of the slack channels on that Yep. I mean, this, like, brace, this is it. Brace yourselves. <laughs> as soon as the, uh, the final, the day after we're come, you know, going to be here or not be here. All of a sudden the emails come, which means that our registrations were sent out to everybody who confirmed they're going to be there, which is why we start getting all of those emails. But you know what? That's what we're there for. I'm here for the booth. I, I, I'm. We're there for the booth tours. We're there to talk to people. We're there to build our connection and our network. And I guarantee you, everybody who makes it out this year is going to not take it for granted, mm -hmm. because we all often we have and we get into our routines of what we do. Uh, this is going to be a very different year, but I think it's going to be. I keep saying probably the best year because we're going to look at it through a different light. Mm -hmm. and uh and why we do these why we gather as you know as a community is going to be shown even more important Lee. yeah and i think and it's 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 not the infocom that we probably would expect but it's the infocom that we need at this at this moment i think that's another thing i think it's infocom you know, a lot. we have and we have yeah hashtag the infocom we need Hashtag the infocom we need. There you go. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, you know, as the next over the next couple of weeks, we are going to we'll we'll talk more because now, again, the conversations are now starting about because there there are some of us who are brand new to go into infocom. Uh, so over the next couple of episodes, we're going to talk a little bit about you know, we'll bring in some experienced infocom people and uh, find out, uh, you know, what what you need to know, know before you go, as, as they say. Mm. So um yes yes the uh, instead of instead of just going out broadly you know we'll bring we'll bring all the answers here so listen up and watch here for the answers and then you don't have oh, to yes. go out and like 
bother people on Twitter and, you know, Joe way doesn't need to make videos and stuff like that. So can't miss it. Come here. I'm all about the videos. I'm here. <laughs> I've got more in coming. Don't worry. Oh, that boy. was just the first one. That was just the first one. Wow. I'm here for all the TikTok trends. <laughs> oh my gosh. TikTok. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't gone down that rabbit Ooh. hole of uh, TikTok. Yeah, I'm 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 busy enough with uh, Instagram and Facebook. I don't need to add that on top of everything else. My daughter was impressed, so that tells you, you know. And wow. she's 20, and she thought, you know what? Was she Not impressed before or after you gave her allowance? Yeah, she's also probably just a polite person. <laughs> <laughs> no, she well, uh, you know, she gave me some pointers for the future, but you know, it's. It, it was a step. Hey, if you're doing TikTok, I'm shocked and amazed because I'm like, I look at that and go, oh, geez, that is hard. That seems like a lot of reasons that I would get angry with the, my phone or computer. Yeah. Uh, but maybe maybe it's uh, becoming time to uh, to go down that uh, that way. So we got to got to reach out, got to hit all the, the channels. So okay. I don't know. I don't know. Get our friends right. in uh, the, the East. Our friends of the, yeah. Uh, I have the oh. I don't know video teed up, by the way. Are you familiar with that one? That's another good one. Another good, we're doing all the TikTok trends. They're coming. Okay. okay. All right. So keep an eye out for Joe Way's TikTok, trending TikTok videos. Trending TikTok. You heard oh, it here. I feel so old and behind. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Although. I don't know if it's TikTok, but it's showing up on my Instagram. There are these ladies that do fancy jump roping. I'm envious. Oh, see, I haven't even seen that. I had the ju I had the the one woman who was like a really good juggler, and she's that's what's been popping up. She she got spotted by like Sports Center or something like that, and then she went like viral because of sports center so what? that's yeah I haven't seen the jump ropers yet so yeah I'm 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 like. I try to do the, I'm trying to do jump roping for like getting in shape and, and the martial arts thing. <laughs> There's Joe. The martial arts thing is like, yeah, you should practice it. Cause it gives you like, you know, skills. So I'm trying to do it. I, I but um, it's hard to do. And honestly, when I'm doing it, I went back to the old, I went, Renee, Renee, feel me on this one. I went back to the old ones, you know, Cinderella dressed in yellow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I can't get this rhythm oh, manageable. Right. <laughs> yeah. I had to get, I had to get there. And so, um, and then I, I was like, okay, I remembered a few things. Uh, it's tough. Who the heck am I these days? I don't know. Not a, we're all, we're all finding ourselves again. I think yes. that's, that's, you know, they're, they're, you know, when you've got uh, things coming back and you know, everything old is new again, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's very strange. <laughs> To throw out something that's back and yik yak is back what was that oh yik yak that old yeah yik yak yeah apparently that's back oh, on man. i just heard about that oh oh this look at week. This. look at that he's plugged in it's I there's a I reason it was shut down in the beginning it's an anonymous like location oh. based sharing That's messages app interesting um, so yeah apparently it's back and students are obviously aware of course mm. it would be can't pull anything over on our students you know they're, they're all they're all they're just as smart <laughs> they're probably smarter than we 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 brought it we bring them to our universities for a reason because we know they're smart and we need to be smarter sometimes <laughs> we got to be on our toes harder right Joe, I yeah, found so you on TikTok. Started you monitoring it. What was that? I found you on TikTok. You have no followers. You have no videos. I have no followers. No. Well, I, do, I just watch it and then I put it on Instagram or Twitter. <laughs> oh, I don't God. actually get no. into the TikTok, but I, I scroll really through it. I only oh. use stalk my daughter. That's it. And I don't even follow my daughter. She knows that I'm stalking her. Yeah. <laughs> uh. That's the I feel like you're missing right a couple steps, but okay. No, because like, I know what, you want to be I able know what, to stalk her, but you're not doing it yet. 
No, but I know I just have to type it in search. Could. And then since Could. that, then, then I go right to her stuff. Oh, so you, you're lurk stalking. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh. Joe, no. Okay. I'm not sure about that, but you, you keep it up. And, and the, the fortunate thing is she compliments you. So it's working out. That's right. That's right. Okay. So whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. So yeah. <laughs> I did pretty good on that video. I'm just going to say. No, you did. It was, it was an excellent video. So if you, if you have no idea what we're talking about, go find Joe Hay's Twitter account and yeah. uh, go find that video. So I, I told you, I was like, I could never be that coordinated. Like I'd, I'd be all over the place. I could, I could barely hand jive, you know, you know, whatever, you know, yeah. I agreed to do it on the uh, the Avixa morning show. So live, this is going to be good stuff. We're doing quality content right from main stage at Infocom, people. This wow. is what you come for. You come yep. for watching me do the questions I'm asked dance. There we go. There you go. How, how much time did you spend practicing? Oh, uh, not much, honestly. About 15 minutes. And then I did it about five or six takes. The hardest part was just watching. Like I had to remember what order I was doing the questions. And so then I'm like, dang, you know, and then I got them mixed up and then yeah. I had to do it again. Yeah. And it wasn't that long to actually do it. And then it takes forever to type all this stuff. And I don't know how the kids do this. How do they have time for this stuff? That's why they're up till three o'clock in the morning. Jobs. <laughs> That's <is> true. <laughs> they're up all night and they sleep all day. <laughs> well, unless they have an 830 class. So, um, so yeah, well, speaking, speaking of higher ed, uh, and we can, uh, make a nice little transition into this. Um, Scott Tyner actually had a, an article on rave publishing, uh, as, as, uh, Murphy had alluded to of her writing for them. So, um, Scott Tyner had an article about the, uh, the, as he's putting it, the great resignation in higher ed. Um, and as it's, it's happening across the country, um, and it's happening in corporate as well. It's not just higher ed, but um, basically, I mean, the conversation came down to is like, are we, as as Joe Way, uh, it, you know, it, AV as a service must die. But are we? Are we? I know, I know you. That hasn't been brought up in a while. But is is it really not dead yet because of this? It, are we? Are we gonna? Are we expecting more outsourcing? You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I uh, you know, and I, I went two ways on this article. Um, at first, I was like, yeah, this hit close to home because I had a key employee leave higher ed in order to take a, a you know, go work for the, the corporate machine, right? And just be a number and a cog in a wheel with no purpose in life. Yes, I said that, Jimmy. You have no purpose now. You're cognitive. You yeah. are solely about the sales numbers at the end of the month and good luck having a job in the future when you don't I, I felt week, months I, in a row. There you it go. Felt That's weird. how I feel. I will say it felt weird seeing him in a tweet storm today. Right. It's like it was after like a bad breakup, like and then you see your ex and you kind of go, why are you here? But like, you know what? <laughs> but we still love actually, him. he knows that I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I, I do want him to suffer in misery for leaving me, of course. Um, but, uh, but no, I mean, the thing is, is uh, we've seen a lot of that. But then, and, you know, he's going to actually do fantastic. I'm just messing. Everyone knows I'm messing because I love Jimmy. And he's, uh, he's one of the bright stars in this industry and is going to be, uh, going to be a big, big player uh, and already is making that of, of himself. Um, but then I thought afterwards and went, okay, I lost someone. They left higher ed, but my last two hires were both from integrators who wanted to come into higher ed, who wanted all these benefits we have, this, you know, the ability to have, you know, a, you know, kind of that office, be able to focus on, you know, on improving one service, not just being how many contract hours you get on one job and then running to another. So many advantages to higher ed that I'm seeing, you know, and as I fill Jimmy's position, the applications coming in, both from people in higher ed and tons from without outside of it, right? Like this is the thing is it's one of those, there's no... Um, he makes a point, but I think it's not the whole picture. 
right? And then so mm -hmm. then to answer the question is, does that mean we're going to have more managed services? Are we going to do outsourcing? If you were doing outsourcing, you're going to continue doing outsourcing. If you weren't doing outsourcing, you're not going to do outsourcing. I don't think this changes anything. Yeah. Um, it, maybe will it for some? Yeah, but I think that everyone you're going to lose to thinking, oh, okay, people left, so therefore I'm going to pay for the service. You're going to find another person who's going to use this as an opportunity to grow their team and bring and people. And that's in, right. That's why I think. Yeah, that's why I think it's going to happen on my end. I think you know we're we're gearing up to be a big summer up ahead, you know, and we're going to have, you know, there might be an opportunity for expansion on our end. Yep. Well, now, I don't, we're not going outside. We're like, we're, we're keeping it in house. You know, there's, yeah. we've yeah. talked about it. Like there's, there's a special something to what we do that having an in-house team is the way to be. You establish those relationships with faculty, you see what they want, and then you can develop it and also standardize better when it's just your team. Yeah. So, well, and I think that beyond that, we, we think like kind of growing the, like if you're, if you're looking at it as far as like growing your team and, you know, when we went through this last two years, integrators were hurting jobs were, you know, were shut down. You had a lot of people being released. And while we had some happen in higher ed, we had some layoffs and, you know, some of our really influential people were laid off from higher ed. But um, overall, higher ed's, what people started coming to us because they realized, well, wait a minute, there's stability. Your institutions aren't just laying you off, right? You're finding ways to keep your job. You were, we were probably one of the most... Uh, stable throughout the last 18 months when other companies were, you know, um, were having to put people on furlough and layoffs and all of these things, we in general did not have to suffer through that. And I think that people are recognizing um, just that that is something special about our vertical. Um, and so, like I said, going back to Scott's article, yeah, absolutely, he's right but it is only one piece of the pie. Right. What about you, Will? What, are you, what have you uh, experienced on your end down there? Um, I actually just posted uh, a job listing for a very, very entry-level position. It's hourly. We're not paying what we probably should for it. I know we're not paying what we should for it. It does have insurance. It does have security. It's usually filled by like a graduating student. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there are lots of people that work in higher ed that I'm like, why are you still working here? You could be making so much more. And yeah, there might not be the job security, but you know, there's a balance there to be struck. And in general, higher ed just doesn't value, it seems like, uh, what it should. And so we almost have to, you know, start showing that value proposition. Mm -hmm. Here's what we would pay to outsource this. Here's what the contract people are paying us. Here's what it costs to do it in house. And so that's one of the things I'm working on right now is just quantifying everything because that's what makes the difference to the number of people, to you know, your board of directors, your CEOs, your cabinet level officials is they need numbers, they need something they can understand. They don't understand well, we need to go from incandescent lamps to laser projectors because it's going to charge more later. They need to know this is the cost for not doing that. Well, and they that's also something do... that we have to kind of focus on. I feel like I feel like they're they they have to have an understanding. I mean, I I've I, I'll be honest, I haven't had to do those sort of presentations yet and, and come up and explain why we need certain things to board level people. But I feel like they have to have some sort of understanding that 
there's also the human aspect to it as well that I mean, it's not just about the numbers but i know it's a big part of it maybe it maybe it's me just being uh what, what is it uh not cautious just being cockeyed optimist you know it's like it's maybe that's me to, that because mm -hmm. that's just who i am but but how do you quantify but the the human experience but isn't you it almost though, have to no, no, I, I want to kind of jump in. There's my show takeover. There, that's right. No, no, I, there, I, there it was. Go ahead, Joe. It owes me a hundred bucks. But, but <laughs> here's the thing: Does it? I mean, I, are we overgeneralizing higher ed, and is it higher ed specific? Because if I look at USC, we pay industry rates plus ten percent. We pay better than industry. Anyone who takes the same job somewhere else is, takes a pay cut. Okay, plain and simply. But that's also because we value, I think, the, uh, and now this is our IT department. We went through our digital transformation. We're here in LA. We compete against Yahoo, Google, you know, YouTube, Netflix, Disney, right? We lose all our good people to major corporations. So therefore, we match that. Um, but we also have one of our beliefs is we run like a business and that is actually one of our values is you know having <laughs> impact to transform our org means may run I, run it like an it business may i suggest that if you have industry standard um plus 10 percent are you updating weekly because that's where we're at right now pretty much when i started I mean, when i started my job search in july the money quotes i'm getting from people Go is going up like every week. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Like, some I guess people are getting... is taking so long. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. And there's there's more and more organizations are offering sign on bonuses and things like that. So and not even, not only are you getting the bigger general paycheck, but you're getting money up front. It's that guaranteed money, like like a like a sports well, figure. Yeah. You know? Uh. Okay. Maybe some people are getting that. That's not my experience. What I'm. Hearing oh. Okay. Is everybody wants a contractor, and you guys are talking about um higher ed is very, very secure. I don't mind not being secure. I am really ready to, for the opportunity to learn something new. I will do crazy things to learn new stuff. And I've done a ton of different kinds of stuff. So, um, but I have an interview with, oh, geez, uh, <laughs> Sony and Adobe in the next couple of days, in addition to other ones, but both of those people, both of those entities have had people blow them off because they they got through final interviews and even offers and people bailed because they got better that's wow. where we are right now mm -hmm. yeah like, something i've heard from higher leadership is and her discuss between other departments is why do you need to fill this fte why do you need to fill this yep. temp why do you need to fill this part-time that's happening too can't we just contract that out mm -hmm. and it's <clears throat> trying to justify well this is how much it would cost us to contract it this is how much it costs for us to do it in-house but the intangible and something i haven't quite figured out is how much it's going to cost us in man hours to fill in the contract person on what needs to be done and for them to it figure out what and most you know, of them that's in-house I mean, is just going to know well, and it's to me, it's different from organization to organization. Like mm -hmm. a C sounds like you've got it going on. It's organized. You, you pay well. You've got a good group of people. I mean, I know some of the small higher ed facilities around here that they contract everything out, everything, running cable, running, I mean, an electrician at the last minute, got to open the yellow pages, right? Like they do nothing in house. And those guys are always complaining about, how overworked and how they would love to have somebody on staff and, and, and they still outsource some, most of their stuff. So it's still, so, but that sounds so opposite of what your organization is, Joe. And so I just wondered, there's, it seems like there's a big gamut of. Yeah. And, and I, I think, it, I think it comes down to, I mean, it has to, it comes down to leadership is, are you going to run like an institution? Or are you going to run like a business? I think that's spot on. That's yeah. And, I, and that's and, yeah 
that's your that's up to your how your mission is and that's how your culture it's all about your culture yep so sorry joe you were gonna say I, I, i'm not i'll i'll you know let you continue no, that was it that was it <laughs> i'm done with the takeover oh okay all right you may now have your show back. It, a beginning and the ending of the takeover we yes. get like whole heads up <laughs> that's awesome well, yeah, there was a, there, so there was a lot of, so there was a lot of back and forth on Twitter about this and like who was doing what and who was staying, you know, in house and who was going out and things like that. So that it was, it just seemed to me, it was like a kind of interesting topic. Uh, so that's why I kind of, I'm, I'm glad you're here with us tonight, Joe, you know, for your, for your insight. Same with you, Will, you, uh, you, uh, you chimed in and I was like, this is perfect. It's like, I'll have Will. And I was hoping James, but James, uh, James is overdoing it. It sounds like <laughs> so the part of it. We'll be talking about at, at like a HECMA meeting or at Infocom, or is this something mm -hmm. that we'll be addressing? Well, we do have a HECMA meeting at Infocom on okay. Friday. So we do Friday, October 29th, 1 30 PM right. cocktail hour, two o'clock show starts well, live streamed online for those who are not members details to follow. Exactly. See? I feel like it's a commercial. <laughs> it's like it's voice and everything. <laughs> At one time, Hetma was here to solve all the problems of all higher ed. <laughs> it's like a trailer. Joe's almost got the trailer voice uh, there going. So he's practiced. Yeah, you know, like like they say, I have the face for radio. <laughs> I did see that tweet today. <laughs> As Jimmy said, Jimmy, who's dead to me. <laughs> I did see it's Joe's Joe made an appearance. Maybe I missed it, but it was. Yeah. Was Randomly comes back. <laughs> well, start. you know, well, it's good. We, we like to see Joe's Joe, you know? Yeah. So, all right. Well, yeah, so that was, that was kind of, it. so what so what, i mean we could, we could we could totally shift gears and and go like sports or something like that i mean we've got we got we got more time this actually has been kind of a short episode so far so you know we don't have to we don't have this to stop great. i'll see you thank you for having me goodbye yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with that joe way takes his leave <laughs> I took over, no, is, I left. <laughs> is there a pew pew today no 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 i i wasn't i wasn't planning on it I mean, I could. Pew pew. How is Kim doing? Are we going to get her back anytime soon? I don't know. Oh, I got the coolest thing from Kim. Uh, she sent me this little Darth Vader, but it has a pumpkin head instead of his regular black helmet. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the coolest oh, thing Darth. ever. Oh, Darth. Oh. And she's, <laughs> she's been doing a lot of 3D printing. So that's. Yeah. Wow. And that's how she made it. She, oh, three, she, she 3D she's printed finishing, it. She, what she is doing is she is finishing the design for her trip to orbit the world. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Eat her dust, Bezos. <laughs> mm -hmm. She could do it. That is so what Kim could do. Pew, pew, and her lasers are ready. Mm -hmm. Tim, mm -hmm. when do you leave for Disney? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, as people are listening to it, I'm already there. <laughs> tomorrow. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I take off, and then yeah, we're 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 doing the road trip thing. So I'm I'm excited for that. Um, I've are done it a couple times. Drive in the middle of the night thing again, or are you driving like? Oh, normal? no, normal. I, I'm getting I'm getting too old for this. Okay. <laughs> I can't do the I can't do the overnight thing anymore. So all uh, normal hours of uh, of driving. So. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for for it, and I'm excited for my son, and you know, to to for him because he's gonna be he's almost seven, and like it's been three years since he's been, so it's it's gonna be great seeing wow, his experience. Dude, yeah, wow. yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, all all good things, all good things to to quote all off. So I'm just gonna keep going Disney right now. <laughs> See, where's Nancy? I need like Nancy. Nancy right. shares my. I I know some of you guys do too, but Nancy is like on par with my with my disney yeah. if not if not even more so <laughs> yeah you are the hardcore disney folks for sure. yeah so um so yeah uh so yeah i'm excited for that so yes i will be in disney for next week's ep episode so, so yeah, you're keep a watch out i'll i'll make an appearance i don't know if how long i'm gonna be able to stay on you know, i don't want to yeah. upset anybody while i'm down there so sure. I, I i i i did tell my wife that i was gonna hop on for the call so i will 
I may have to put somebody in charge for a while. So, you know, mm. Joe way, if you want to come not back Joe, next week, you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guest can, host guest. You, host. Could have, you could have a full takeover and I, you know, you won't have me in the way. So <laughs> a hetma takeover I, right before I, I, I do i do my own show that's true oh, you do have your own show he's moved on wow wow yeah he doesn't need my show so he just likes to interrupt my show that's really oh, it he doesn't yeah that's that's it yeah that's all he's got a good yeah. one for you today <laughs> <laughs> yes you do. yes see you've listened I have. You know, and I don't even know how I ever came up with that. Like, I just, it just, that intro just happened. Like, it just, just made it up once and it stuck. And there we go. It is what it is. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm re, see, this is, I am this too. is my problem. I look at the chart. I look at the chat and then I go, the chat. Oh, just keep, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. I'll just keep going. Yeah. I'm just going to keep or going. I'll just take it over I'm again. Not. No, no, don't do that. Um, so, so, all right. Well, Infocom predictions. What were you? All right. So, Will, where where were you thinking with that? Go ahead. Let's let's hear it. Oh, um, you, oh you man, you manually <laughs> muted. Your... This will actually be my first Infocom, so I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen and what it'll be like. Hmm. Um. So I, I mean, like last yes. last week, last week we brought up like uh, that they should change the dates uh, for for Infocom. Yeah, I definitely think they should change the dates. I think like permanent change. Of well, I'm speaking from higher ed, right? Well, yeah, that's perspective. Yeah. yeah, they should definitely change the dates for us. Uh, honestly, I'm happy it's in Orlando, just because if I say I'm going to Vegas. Or asking if I can get, uh, you know, authorization to go to Vegas or book, uh, book trips, then I get the side eye, kind of from, you know, the finance people, bosses, like, oh, you just want to go to Vegas? Like, no, I don't have any interest in right. gambling or any of that. Like, just, mm -hmm. but Orlando, being on the East Coast, is a whole lot easier to get to and to justify. Right. Um, so I'm looking forward to just kind of going and seeing what's on offer making contacts uh, i've actually noticed and this is splitting off from the infocom thing i've had That's okay at this point at this point more, we're, to, we're we're freestyling so <laughs> i've had way more people asking to come and meet me or meet our team meet you know in our local town uh than we had last year or the year before mm. and so it's kind of interesting to see if manufacturers are shifting strategies or what but i mean mostly i'm interested in just finding out more about what's out there what's coming up what people have planned and nobody can get product right now anyway so i'm more interested in the future plans the future path what's coming forward i don't want to pigeonhole myself into something that's going to be obsolete in two to three years because my refresh cycle is five to seven years mm -hmm. so i'm more interested in longevity and what the future long roadmap is not what's coming this year what's coming next year right can i be the bearer of bad news <laughs> have at it joe you're not going to get. You're not going to get any of that at this year's Infocom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like I'm going to, but, but that's what could, I want. Dream. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Even the people who will be there will not be there with road. Now, maybe that's all they're going to be able to talk is roadmap because they're not coming full force. This is just going to be a very different one. But I'm excited about it. I mean, I think it's actually going to be more of what I actually go for: M building relationships, seeing people. You know what? Take the take the junk out of it. And let's not even worry about those conversations. And let's start building, um, building more of kind of who we are, more of my, yes, our vendor management. Vendor uh, management, yes. <laughs> and, you know, because again, 
I mean, is it good to kind of see stuff in the hush room? Sure, of course. That's fun. It makes you feel special. But the fact is, I it, I can't really make decisions until I'm back on my campus and I get a test of it and you bring it in and I try it in my, you know, um, you know, in, in my space. I think the only exception for me, honestly, was last ISE. But that's also because I had so many things under NDA that we were doing for our upgrade that it was literally I had to fly halfway across the world to get two different people together who I both had NDAs with to go, okay, you guys got to talk so we can make this thing work. <laughs> and it was probably the only time I actually had a chance to kind of roadmap talk booth. But normally it's just, you know, the the showroom, the floor is just the plant, uh, the place to touch base before you go actually hang out later. Um, and, you, you know, the booth tours, are they important? Sure. But the fact is what the vendors want is our badge scan. And what I want is a connection and a relationship so mm -hmm. that I can reach out later and have those conversations under my terms, you know, and, and I've said this all along, like I'm one of those people when I go to, you know, when I go walk projector alley, I, it better look good. You've got five days to set the dang thing up run the content you want through it, black box it and do everything. It should look good. You know, it was like when I go to Nam, I, I don't do the speaker room thing. You better make it sound good. You had five days to set it up. You get to pick the audio that's going through it and you got to tune the heck out of it. That's going to sound very different than my auditorium with glass that. halfway across one I side of it, you know? And so I think that's really the key um, is, Sure. Do I want to know what you're doing? Do I want to know features? Are there times where I got to know, okay, what kind of monitoring, what kind of control, you know, are you bringing, adding Dante modules, a thing? I mean, whatever, like, are you doing those types of things? Sure. But I don't actually need to see the piece of gear there. It's not like I can go plug it in anyway. Right. Mm. So just having those conversations and there goes my audio, my video. So <laughs> I wonder I'm come if back ooh, with this one. here oh, we go. Wow. So we'll, we'll switch over to the Hudley IQ. Oh, there you go. Uh, there we go. Um, I have it on auto. So I'm kind of moving around. Hudley is very warm. It is. Yeah. Warm. Very well, plus he's got the, he's got the track lighting too. The, yeah. that's... I know that oh, helps. There it is. There it is. Whoop, boom. There we which go. brings up that, that will um we talked about that last week about how i feel i, I pulled a joe way bold prediction last year last week yes that awesome i feel like 2022 is going to be the year of the regional show or the regional visits or the you know there's going to be a lot more i'm coming to you with some partners or you know there's it's not going to be more of i'll see you in a couple months at infocom and show that to you it's going to be like no here let's get a group of us and let's we're coming to a school near you or whatever yeah. but I think that's going to be huge but joe you're right i mean you're going there to to shake hands or fist bumps or elbow bumps whatever it is everybody no, i'm gonna hug i'm gonna hug you're everybody gonna just right? so yeah. you know i'm <laughs> hugging you and if you don't want to hug me you run away <laughs> i'm after everyone you need a t-shirt yeah I'm I'm... for the hug watch out <laughs> which joe demonstrates a good point there um nothing's worth anything until we get it in our environment right he's yeah. got that camera that clocks out every 30 minutes but on paper it works fine mm -hmm. but it's not until mm -hmm. you get it in that you actually get to try it so i assume that everything i'm going to see at the show works like it does on the brochure mm. but it's not until i get it in my environment and find out oh that doesn't work with our network that doesn't work with this glass wall that doesn't work with that that we can actually really try things out yep right exactly and that's uh, i'm looking forward to getting my hands on some products in the near future that we're going to be uh testing out i'm not going to say who um and uh we'll uh we'll see what happens you know i'm i'm I, it's funny because like we're we've got the time now to do that like you know we're like like you said earlier, Will, like we're at that point now where like we're planning for the next for next summer, you know, all the bugs and everything that we've had are starting to work themselves out. So things are getting, I'm going to say quiet <laughs> because they're never really quiet, but it's quieter than usual. 
So, or the like, quieter than the beginning of the semester. So now is the time to get the product, to test it. Um, and maybe if winter breaks, if we get some things done quickly in winter break, I'll have some time to test things then too. So that's, yeah. Cause I will tell you, I've had more devices that are like network based that I've had trouble with because the Rutgers network is special. <laughs> so, uh, which I, yeah. Spe special. You have got to upgrade past the cat three, dude. Just, just, well, like you know, I can't, I can't help the rat's nests in some spots. <laughs> so, you know, our stuff, our stuff is all up to spec and ahead. So, but I, I can't speak for other things that have been done pre pre DCS. So, um, so yeah, so, um, two to, I'm setting appointments with my boss, with my customers. So it's like, well, I want to be there building that relationship. What is it going to do that my customers meeting with my boss? You know, it kind of, to me is like, that's defeating some of the purpose of that, but hopefully my boss takes really good notes and sends me back really good leads. <laughs> I trust your, oh, I see. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm like, and take him out for a beer. Go meet him afterwards. Meet him at the party. <laughs> beer, beer. Who said beer? Beer, beer here. I, I need a beer. I didn't. I didn't even bring. Maybe that's why I'm behaving. I'm actually doing pretty good today because I did not bring a cocktail. You are. You're very. Oh, good. that's why. Not just yeah. the lighting. It's not. I didn't, add, not. I didn't add. I didn't add anything to my Coke today. So I know. No. What the heck? We're all on an off night. It's actually been in a week from like I'm in bed at nine o'clock week. I'm like I don't yeah. know what's on this week, but. Yeah, I've been gearing up for this trip. So it's like, that's, that's what yeah. my focus has been. So I'm, now that I'm this close to, to pulling away, it's like, okay, you, I just want to good night. on a star and it's hard to focus on this. Yeah. And I, you know, I keep waving at Tinkerbell and, you know, so <laughs> it's like, I'm coming, I'll be there soon. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, all right. Well, you know what? I think this is a good place we can we could start to to close out here. I think we've 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 we we're in a good place right now, and <laughs> we could we could save our energy for uh, for next week and the coming weeks because now it's the I feel like this is the the last push before Infocom. Yeah. Now, that, like we said, now that everything's been set, you know, manufacturers are set, vendors are set. You know, we're attendance wise. I think today or tomorrow. Today was the last day to register, Joe. Or how late can people register till? For Infocom? Yeah. Show up at the door. I was going to show up at the door. Gonna take people to the to the till Friday. <laughs> bring a friend. Oh sure. Yeah, bring a friend or ten. Yeah. I heard. Yeah, I heard though, no, Joe. <laughs> I heard you're a little short on your uh, your estimate. I heard twenty four thousand. I'm standing by thirty one thousand. Standing by it. So in three weeks, in three weeks, we'll have to see. So I'm saying I'm, I'm standing by it. I, I hope you're I'm right. With, yeah. I hope you're right too. It'd be great. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, squashing your, uh, your prediction. I mean, so. here's the thing. It's such an outrageous number. I can't go wrong because <laughs> if, it's, if it is 31,000, then I'm the one who looks like a pure genius. <laughs> And then we'll never let us forget it. If it's nowhere near, then I then all I have to say is, hey, I'm the one optimist in our industry, right? I really <laughs> am in no lose situation with this that. This is one. very true. Always yeah, win win for Joe. Always, yep. <laughs> it always works out for Joe. Stick it, stick so it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll talk more about that uh, next week and the week after. Uh, so. Um, so yeah, so Will, thank you for joining us in a uh, an honorary crew member uh, again today. Uh, we thank much you. appreciate yeah much appreciate your input. Always welcome, as is everybody you know who wants to join us here on the uh, the AV life. You know, I have no trouble sending an invite and bringing people in. Um, you know, just just behave. That's all I ask. Just be kind. <laughs> Don't be like Joey. No, just kidding. <laughs> Joey was good. You were good tonight. Good today. Good. Joe, you can come back. Good. You could come back. <laughs> I thought hey, hey, I made you I made you a crew member though. I know. I didn't, I didn't relegate you. This is the first time I've been a crew member and I didn't lose it for the next one, I think. I think I get to keep it. Cuz usually I get relegated back down after I misbehave. Yeah, and you were good tonight. So you get to keep crew member again. So this is 
you'll, you'll uh, so when you come back when, in like two months, when you come and join us again, you know, we'll, uh, yeah. you could have your crew members. Well, I'll, back. I'll be on the, I better be invited to the 200th at, at Infocom. Well, well, yeah, that's that. Oh yeah. There's that too. Wait, yeah, did so I just blow something? No, that no, was... no, no. I've been, I've been plugging that. So okay. it's, I don't, okay. I, there's, there's, there, there's still hush hush things, but yes, the, 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 the 200th episode of the AV life will be at Infocom. Um, so do, 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 do. yeah. So, um, yeah, more details to follow. So keep an, uh, keep an ear and keep an eye out. Um, my also hope will be that I have some, uh, cool live streams, uh, through our YouTube channel. So find us on YouTube, um, while I'm there. down there. So for those so, of us living vicariously through our computer screen, we appreciate yes. that. <laughs> so also make sure you check off that you want to subscribe and that you want notifications. There's the little bell in the corner. And the reason, the reason I, I don't really go on YouTube all that often, uh, you know, admittedly, like I go there to like look up how to do certain things, but my son watches YouTube and like he, the, the videos he watched, all of them go, make sure you subscribe and kick the bell f- to, to get notifications. And so like, it's just ingrained in my head just because I've heard it so many times. So make sure you subscribe and then click the bell to get your notifications. So when I go live, you will get, uh, you will get that notification that, Hey, the AV life is live. Okay. So I just clicked the bell. So I'm good to go. Well, there you go. So there we go. Maybe, maybe we'll do. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, before before Joey uh, goes completely off the handle here, you know. Uh, <laughs> Always playing. Uh, yeah. So uh, so yeah. So thank you to Will. Thank you to Joe. Welcome back. Thank you, Murphy. Thank you, Renee. Uh, always always a pleasure. Uh, thank you for being an awesome crew. And uh, yeah, I miss I miss some of our other members that are not here with us as regularly. So hopefully hopefully they'll be back soon. So um, so yeah. Having said that. Until our next adventure.